Hello, I hope you're having a great day. It is beautiful today in Iowa. It's like 60 degrees, but I think tomorrow it's like 40 is the high, and then after that it might be like 18, so outside enjoying it while I can but I do have an inside project that I need to get done today um, I've noticed a lot of my lysanthus they're getting pretty big and so the ones that have two in a cell I want to split those out and put them into their own now I know you can just cut off the top and you don't have to do this part and it just lets the stronger seedling live so you could like look at the two cut off the weakest one and let the other one grow but I did this last year and I actually got more plants because of it and March is coming up I have a lot of seeds to do but like this week isn't so bad so I'm gonna go ahead and get as many plants as I can and I'm gonna just pick them out and put them in each cell tray and try to do it that way and then I also know that I have a lot of seeds coming up to plant in March. And so all of those little empty cells in my Lysianthus trays are just wasting space. So I'm gonna just pop the cells out and stick them, try to stick them all in one. And that way I can eliminate some trays of the Lysianthus and have more room for other seeds. And I, th I'm only gonna do like one or two trays today of popping them out because I wanna see how they do when I do it. I wanna make sure it doesn't like kill them or anything because I would just leave them in the trays if that was the case. But if they do fine, then I, as March goes on and I need more trays, I can do the same thing to just keep opening up space under my grow lights because I do have limited space. So I'm starting here with the Chacon Yellow and I am going to just split out some of these cells that have doubles. So I use my knife, I pull out the little cell pocket, and then I kind of split these two, you can see, sorry, it's kind of in the bottom of the screen, but I kind of pull them gently apart so that I don't disturb the roots. And look at those roots, they're enormous. They're huge, that makes me really happy to see that they're growing and their root systems are getting quite large. So now I'll just take these two plants and I will find some cells that are empty or I can tell that a Lysianthus may have died or never came up and I'm going to put those in that spot. And all I do is kind of tuck it down. I try to make sure that all of the roots are covered and deep down in the soil and then I kind of pack it down and then I lightly just push the top of the plant down to make sure that it's in there. And once I think it's in there nice and good, I just will give it a little squirt of water to make it kind of settle down. And then I'm gonna put the other one in. That one has such long roots. <laughs> And squirt that one in and I'm just going to do that with the entire rest of the tray to fill in as many blank spots as I can. Okay and there's only six little Lysianthus in this entire 36 plug tray. So I'm just gonna pop out the entire plug. I think this is the least damaging to the root system. I just go through, I pop out the entire thing, and then I just transplant it into a new container. So I did fill this container up with some soil that was already moist, and I'm just kind of pulling off the bottom that doesn't have any roots and just sticking the plants back in. I think this is the best way to not disturb any roots. So then that will free up an entire half tray because now I just have this little thing of six instead of an entire cell flat of 36. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm just going through and I'm getting rid as 
of as many as I can and combining all of the like ones into the same ones. So this tray, I have enough that I can pop a few out of this side and put into the other side and that will give me another flat. So now instead of having two full flats by doing this, I will have one flat with two types of lisianthus in it. And that's going to save me an entire tray. So I can now I can plant another 72 snapdragons if I want to. <laughs> it's all about saving space when you have limited space. One of these days, maybe when I have a greenhouse, I won't have to worry about something like this. And I can just let them grow on and not worry about it. But honestly, when you get out to the field, you have to take these trays with you out to the field. And you pluck all of the little things out and put them in the ground so you kind of want your cells trays to be full you don't want to be taking half empty cell trays out to the field and then having to go through them and dump them out there so I like to have all of my cells full of plants because that's just going to make me more efficient when I'm putting them in the ground at the farm So now I can go and I'll be able to take this one and put it in with the other flat I made and completely eliminate one row of, I mean, one tray of plants or not plants. <laughs> so I moved the shower cone green into its own tray and there are some missing um so that tray did not have as good a germination and then also the light pink the alamon light pink i did i took the entire tray and then i still have some missing out of this tray but it's almost 36 of them so i probably have 30 of those and maybe i don't know 20 of these so that's kind of sad and then my luna rose I only had six out of that entire tray. And if you remember, that was the burpee seed starting mix. And it just didn't do that well. Um, but then some of my other trays are really full. So some of the other varieties just like have like the charcoal yellow, like that is a pretty full tray. And then over here, I still have to move out some doubles and stuff. So I'm gonna have a lot of full trays, um, but I did have some that just didn't do well and um, like this one's doing really well down here too. I've got a lot of doubles I need to still split out. But I'm just going to try to get some of it done each day and get them out into their own little cells so possibly I have more plants. You can just snip them off and let the strongest one grow in the cell. But I did this last year and I ended up with a lot more plants because I didn't snip them off and throw them away and I do have a little bit extra time this week. So I figured, why not? It doesn't hurt anything. If you want to see how I started the seeds, I'll put a link here. And then I will just keep you updated. March is coming. It's going to be busy. And I'm just doing these little things because I thought, well, this will give me like more room on my under my grow lights. So I'll have more space if I kind of get rid of some of these dead cells that are getting taken up. And... I don't like to have to pluck everyone out. So I don't do it where I just scatter all the seeds and then later pot them all up into big ones. I do it just like I'm showing you. I think it saves a lot of time and I don't have to do as many. So that's it for this video. Don't hit, forget to hit like and subscribe if you want to see more videos and more updates. I'm going to try to give tons of updates with a lot of beautiful flowers this year at the farm. So hit that subscribe and you can see what I'm up to this summer. So I hope you enjoy this video and have a great day.